Rethink creativity. How to innovate, inspire, and thrive at work. This is Monica King, and I'm so glad you're here. I wrote this to those who thought creativity was a foreign concept. Welcome to the friend you never knew you had. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Albert Einstein. Introduction Why We Stop Being Creative. If I had a time machine to travel from the future to observe today's workplace, I would be shocked in the way we work and live. <gasps> How can we live in such a paradox? Nine out of ten leaders I speak with say creativity is important to be a better leader. And that innovation is a key to growing their companies. Scientific research since the 1950s has also shown how we are all creative as humans and have the capacity to be more creative. Yet, most individuals today believe that creativity is a gift a selected few are born with and more relevant for those in traditional arts. Eight out of ten individuals I talk with say either. I'm not creative, I'm not capable of being creative, or being creative is not my responsibility or my job. No matter how many technological advances or levels of innovation we achieve, many of us feel limited in the workplace. Gallup research shows that more than 87% of professionals today feel stuck in a lack of a creative outlet. More than 82% feel discouraged to take a risk or offer a different opinion at work. These results impact how we live and think because the workplace is where we spend most of our time as adults. In a way, it is no surprise that in May 2019, the World Health Organization officially declared burnout as a major health problem caused by chronic workplace stress. Is this truly? The best way to live our lives. Why do we think it is okay to have a workforce that is looking forward to Fridays more than Mondays? How will the world be different if the 87% of the professionals who feel stuck today felt more creative and unlimited in their potential no matter what they did? Wouldn't we have a world where we solved more difficult problems, but also a workplace where people thrive and are happier? Is it too much to expect to live in such a world? I do not think so. Today, these are the very questions and emotions I wrestle with as a workplace innovation expert. Through my company, Innovators Box, I help companies and leaders rethink creativity as a way to transform their culture, people, and leadership development. In less than four years, I have worked with over 10,000 individuals in five countries and Fortune 500 companies, universities, nonprofit, and governments, which was confirmed how urgently we need to change the way we think, live, and work. In addition to building my company, I wrote a book. This book. Because it was what I wished for years ago. A few years ago, I was feeling finite. I was unsure how I could fight society's stereotype of being defined by job titles and judged by business cards. I felt dissatisfied and limited by work and life. I was in a funk, and for me, that showed up as depression. When I was at rock bottom, I sought advice, read books, researched solutions, and joined communities to get perspective. But nothing. Help me understand how I could reconnect with my limitless potential until I discovered the creative mindset. Once I understood creativity as a mindset and a way of living, I not only thrived at work, but also in my life. I became a better problem solver, a more mindful person, and a happier employee, even when I faced with the hardest challenges. I got promoted. Got more work done and woke up feeling more energized. It was transformative. And I want to share it with everyone. 
You may not know yet why you decided to pick up, or in this case, listen to this book. Perhaps you also feel that you have suffered enough at work. Perhaps you are burnt out and feeling desperate for change. Or perhaps you want to learn how you can lead your team to thrive and be more innovative. Whatever the case may be, I'm glad you are here. Remember, you are in control of your creative strength and growth. You have the permission to ask questions, to wonder, and to experience something different, but only if you try. I realize that being more creative and giving myself more time to be creative, I was transforming the way I work and live. And so can you. However, here's what not to expect during this journey. Strategies on how to ideate products. There are enough books about that topic. And to be honest, we don't need more people in the workplace who follow a formulated approach to everything. We are looking to empower the workforce so they are ready to tackle complex problems in a whole new way by learning how to cultivate and embrace a creative mindset that is unique to them. Number two, immediate results. Just like you should not expect to lose weight after one day at the gym, your most pronounced changes will emerge over time and with ongoing effort. Continue to work hard, reflect, and flex your creative muscles. Your best results will emerge when you have built a creative mindset and have successfully incorporated into your daily routine. To best witness the impact of the work you're going to do, don't forget to document every step along the way. Take some time to reflect on what you really think about creativity, your creative thinking, and how you feel about your career before and after you've read this book. When you build a creative mindset, you learn not only how to ideate and problem solve, you also learn how to be more collaborative, understanding, open-minded, and patient. This is why leaders who are creative are better problem solvers, communicators, and innovators. When you live more creatively, you recognize that challenges are not obstacles, but opportunities to grow. When you think more creatively, you recognize different opinions are resources to think of new ways to solve problems. Creativity is not limited to art. Creativity is a way of living and essential to who we are as human beings. Remember, you do not have to feel stuck, stressed, or limited. I want you to know that you are good enough and that you can trust your unique gifts. While the path to restore your creative mindset is not always easy, it will be an enriching and exciting if you explore it with an open mind. I believe this is possible because it is true. Do you believe in your limitless potential? I do. With love, Monica H. King. <laughs>